Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my personal favorite of all the closest games of all time submissions here at Day 9 Daily number 390. It is a game between dudes and priest. What matchup? Zerg versus Zerg. In the bottom left corner, we have a gentleman by the name of Dubes. In the top right, we have a priest. Not any priest. A guy who just typed in priest as his account name. Hey, how many drones do you need, priest? All the drones I'll ever need. Doesn't even say anything. He's quite cunning. He's clever. He knows exactly what he must do. He must build as many pools as possible, as quickly as possible, and he will begin with one. He does build the seventh drone, and he does begin to scout cross-map. He does have an overlord checking up at the north position. It's a process of elimination game. If I go to the top left and my opponent is not there, then I know he's at the bottom left. If I go to the bottom left and he is there, then I know he's in the bottom left. It looks like a run around a roo. A pool goes down on but 15 food. And it looks like, oh no, oh wait a minute, oh there's drones coming to, oh, and but a single drone mining. Excellent. Drone's moving in, and it looks like Priest has a plan. He's going to begin six pooling with all six drones, but he does have one at home, so that way he can mine up some additional monies. And here comes the drone race. It's a drone fight. Drones on drones. Go drone on drone action, and there it is. Trying to constrict through this one entrance, both having a little standoff in the, in the, in the valley of pool hatch. Here it comes. And there's the Zerglings moving on, and Dubes with a critical misstep does not wait long enough before the engagement. Oh no, oh Dubes. Oh look at that great micro by Priest. Dubes just should have engaged earlier, but now Dubes has lost absolutely everything. His Zerglings are going to pop out. His Zerglings are popping out, but they're just merely running away. Running away. And of course we have the best counter to a 6 pool. Uh, if you build a spine crawler in my base, I'll build a spine crawler back in your base. Atta boy, dubes! Excellent. Excellent. There's Dat's spine crawler. And there it is. Hey, nice drone guy. Nice dead drone. Priest, I win! Priest. Priest. Be careful. Broodlings are in that building. As are broodlings in these buildings. Even if you kill both, I still win. A tale of a trash-talking Zerg. Now here it comes. He's going to kill off the hatch. you got to run. <laughs> Be careful. Oh! Broodlings do not manage to do enough damage. Meanwhile, up in this base, we have a little bit of Broodling Micro. Excellent. Looks like the spawning pool. Be careful, Priest. He runs, and the Broodlings... <laughs> Don't kill anything off. What about in this base? For a priest, you're certainly not very well mannered. And it looks like up here. And look at the instant run from Dubes. I don't even know if he takes much damage at all. Escapes. Now we have one building versus one building. There's Priest with the GG. He unburrows. Now, spine crawlers heal when unburrowed. But if they are off ground. But if they're underground when the creep proceeds, they will lose health. Now, I want to know what this looks like. <laughs> you have a revealed moving building. And there's Dubes trying to follow it. Amazingly, I do think that the Spine Crawler will uh, outrun the Overlord. Yeah, that's right. Lol's epic. See? We... <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's 7 food versus 3 food. In the Army Supply tab, we do see that Dubes does dominate there. Time to micro those 6 lanes. Lol. But Dubes looks like he's just going to stay put. I mean, he can see the incoming assault. It looks like the spine crawler is going to stop by the Zelnaga Watchtower. So that way it can spot... Why do people go for the Zelnaga Watchtower? That's like a theme. I don't know. It's like an involuntary muscle reaction. I'm going to die. Maybe if I can see uh, the center, I can control for counterattacks. Because I don't want him to counterattack my... My base. I don't... Well, well, let's let's move on. Let's move on from the watchtower. We do see the Zergling sitting here to spot the incoming onslaught. Dubes preparing. The creep will recede. Oh, God. Dubes has taken some serious... You die fast off creep! 
Oh my god! Unburrow dubs! Dubs! Unburrow! Unburrow dubs! 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 Don't kill yourself, dog! Don't kill yourself now, man! Dude, bro! Bro, 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 buddy, buddy! Baby, 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 baby! Unburrow, baby, 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 baby! Get unburrow, unburrow, man! Unburrow, unburrow! He can see you die! He can see the death of your building! You're being revealed, baby! Come on, unburrow! You're at 90 health! Come on! Come on! Get out of the ground! 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 Alright, he gets out! Oh, God, it's 70 health, and it looks like the 231 health. And Dubes. Dubes trying to get in position. He's hiding in the backside. It looks like Priest. It's going to be Spine Crawler versus Spine Crawler. All right. Spine Crawler versus Spine Crawler. The game will end in two minutes as a draw. Maybe if he can just run away, Spine Crawler wise. And Priest. Oh, my God. Attacking at the worst angle possible. Priest with the worst angle of all time taking some serious hits and he tries to run through he's charging he's trying to just kill off the spine crawler it's at 60 health 50 50 47 42 the spine crawlers are cuddling he's trying to just push his kill and it's a 28 and he gets it done wow lols gg Oh, Priest! Yes, that is what you get for saying you lose. You should leave. Get out of the game. You should leave. Leave the game. I'm the winner. Well, you found the literally smallest concave humanly possible on the whole map. Literally, if you came from any other side, but no, you found the one right between the mineral and the geyser. Take that. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the last Fun Day Monday of 2011. Mwah! You all look very beautiful today, especially those suave folk in the chat with their fancy 9 favicon. I'm Day 9. I am going to go get sushi to celebrate because the year is done. Hope you enjoyed 2011, guys. See you next year. See you next year. Au revoir. Ciao. Much hearts to you. Woo!